Hi there, feeling cooler outside this week, but for much of November, indeed, it has been rather settled and relatively mild as well. Just taking a look at the radar estimated rainfall accumulations over the last week, quite settled across southern areas where there hasn't been much rain in many places. We've had a few weak frontal boundaries at times, generally pushing the most of the rain into northwestern areas, while as they move further south, they've generally sort of fizzled out and lost most of their rainfall. Um, eastern areas here, we have seen some coastal showers, particularly on Sunday, which has resulted in that rain here, but for many southern places, a dry week and that indeed has been the story for much of November. Some parts of southern areas here not really seen more than five mil for the whole month so far so really quite dry in many places here. The focus of the rainfall generally has been in the northwest but let's take a look at what we're expecting for the forecast as we go through the rest of this week and this is the um, current air mass that we've got over us at the moment so generally temperatures quite average for the time of year um, perhaps slightly above average across northern areas while staying slightly slightly below average in the south. But as we go through Wednesday, we see these blue colors creeping onto the chart here. So suggesting things are going to turn cooler as we go through Wednesday. And that's all down to this cold front we've got stretching across northwestern areas at the beginning of the day on Wednesday. But elsewhere in the south, starting on the drier side of things underneath this ridge of high pressure, perhaps with a few mist and fog patches, and perhaps those will be slightly more extensive than previous mornings. And we could also see the odd frost patch in places, but generally this cold front and associated rainfall moving southeastwards as we go through day. Brighter conditions following from the northwest, but also a few showers in places. Now, as we go into Thursday, indeed Thursday morning, we have this low pressure system out to the northeast of Scotland, and that could just bring a few spells of rain, sleet, or snow to parts of northern Scotland at first on Thursday, even to lower ground areas. But generally, what we're expecting on Thursday is for many inland areas a dry and bright day. It will feel cool in these northerly winds, and I think coastal areas could just see a few showers at times, possibly turning wintry in the north. And as we go towards the end, of the day on Thursday, this low pressure system approaching northern areas will be pushing some, some rain into northern places, but also some stronger winds. You can see the isobars tightening there, as well as perhaps some milder temperatures too. But for much of Thursday, indeed, we are underneath this cooler air mass, so feeling chilly through the day on Thursday. You can see these orange and green sort of colors starting to edge into northwestern areas, becoming more widespread through the day on Friday before cool air, those blue colors return across the chart again as we go through the day on Friday and indeed continuing to spread in cold air from the north as we go through Saturday and into the weekend. Taking a look at Friday itself then, low pressure keeping northern areas quite wet and windy at first. Southern areas starting slightly drier under this weak ridge of high pressure here. Could be a touch of frost in the southeast at first as well. But the general story as we go through the day on Friday is this rain moving its way southwards um, and followed by brighter conditions in the northwest, also a few showers. And then what we've got to watch is this occluded front we've got sort of wrapping around the low pressure here. And you can see some areas of snow suggested on there. So the potential for some snow as we go through Friday night and into Saturday, that all depends on where this low pressure is centered and where the sort of occluded front is as well. So lots depends on that. And also you can see a number of isobars across here, so quite windy. But taking a look as we go through to Saturday morning, this is two different models ideas about how things might play out. And it's all to do with where the area of low pressure tracks. So um, sort of by Friday night, it was sort of close to eastern Scotland, but moving in both sort of model worlds, moving southwards. Now in this model, it's sort of a much deeper low and it's close to sort of the sort of East Anglia kind of area. And you can see the occluded front wrapped quite tightly around there. But looking at this model, the low is much shallower and almost splitting into sort of two separate little low pressure features with the occluded front much further west. So a lot of differences between these different models runs. And I think things will continue to chop and change as we approach the weekend. So a lot of uncertainty in the forecast, but the potential for some snow in places, particularly where this front moves through overnight, we could see 
see um, snow affecting places. So do keep an eye on the forecast. It's likely to change. And in situations such as this, the best thing you can do is to keep in touch with our forecasters. We're available every day from 6 a.m. till 5.30 p.m. So do give us a ring on 09065 We're an absolutely lovely bunch. We'd love to take your questions. But do remember that calls cost £1.55 a minute plus network access charges. Now, as we go further ahead towards the end of the weekend, that low pressure system responsible for the potential for snow Friday night and into Saturday will generally clear out to the east. So still got the potential for some wintry coastal showers, perhaps something a slightly a bit more prolonged um, close to East Anglia. So still some wintry precipitation possible in some areas, but generally inland areas becoming drier and brighter, but feeling chilly as we go through Sunday. Now into the early part of next week, that low pressure system cleared away well to the southeast there now. But we have got another low pressure system coming in and bring this front across parts of the UK. Now as that meets the cold air that we've got over us, that we'll have over us over the weekend, we could just see some sleet and snow on the leading edge of that band of rain there. So that's the potential as we go into sort of Monday kind of time. And then as we go through the rest of early next week, I think a succession of these low pressure systems perhaps bringing spells, further spells of rain to many places as they slide their way southeastwards across the UK. Now, as we go towards the middle of next week, those low pressure systems clearing out to the southeast and the potential for things to return to a more north northwesterly flow. So another shot of cooler air from the north, potential for some wintry showers in places as well. So the possibility of things turning cooler by the middle to end of next week. Now taking a look at the air mass temperature ensemble, this is the temperature expected around one mile above the ground. You can see the sort of succession of things as they play out over the week ahead. So starting off with the temperatures close to maybe even slightly above average, but plummeting as we go through Wednesday and that cold front moves its way southeastwards. Now, as we go into Thursday and Friday, that brief sort of slightly less cold interval before things drop off again as we go towards the weekend. Now into Monday, the early part of next week, the suggestion of things picking up following that front as those successions of low pressures come through before once again, as we go in towards the middle of next week, we start to see that northerly, northwesterly flow returning again and we get another drop um, sort of below average, which is that dotted line average for the time of year. So another drop below average. But you can see that line does wave up and down, um, that red line, which is showing the average of all the ensemble members, um, up and down, above and below that average line. So quite a lot of spread as well in the forecast, particularly as we go into next week. And that's generally due to sort of the timing of these different events. So some different ensemble members moving fronts through at different times, resulting in that cooler air coming in at different times of the week but a lot a lot to play for and a lot of uncertainty in the forecast so do keep an eye on it generally as we go towards the end of the forecast period you can see the red line just trending slightly above the dotted line the average for the time of year as we go towards middle of December so the potential for something slightly milder as we um, go further ahead Taking a look at the forecast itself then as we go towards week three, the 6th to the 12th of December, you can see that I think a continuation of sort of next week's succession of low pressure systems tracking southeastwards is probably the most likely scenario that we'll see as we go into week three. So areas of low pressure, spells of rain moving in from the northwest and moving southeastwards. But we've still got the potential for slightly higher than average pressure out to the southwest. So occasionally sort of rooting in and keeping in southern areas on the slightly more settled side of things and the result of that is generally above average temperatures which is sort of shown by these pink colors here um, so generally temperatures above average still the potential for some colder weather at times some colder days at times particularly as areas of low pressure clear away to the east and we get sort of north northwesterly flows following that so some cooler days still possible but generally temperatures above average as we go into week three and into week four the strong, a stronger signal for high pressure to build, shown by those red colours there. So the potential for things to turn slightly more settled as we go towards the middle of December. And that's still resulting in temperatures you know, slightly above average, but less so than the previous week. So perhaps hinting at the idea of some cooler nights under clear skies underneath that high pressure. 
So to summarise then, I think um, some pretty interesting weather as we go towards the end of the week. A lot of uncertainty, so do keep an eye on the forecast as it's expected to turn colder. Some windy conditions at times too, particularly in the north, and the chance of snow in places, so do keep an eye on your forecasts. Now, as we go into the early part of next week, conditions are expected to turn briefly milder and we'll have outbreaks of rain spreading in from the northwest. However, as we go towards the middle of next week, another pulse of cooler air arriving from the north and more showery conditions, perhaps some further wintry precipitation in places. And then as we go towards the middle of December, the hints of things turning settled again. Thanks for watching today's WeatherQuest farming forecast. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to leave a comment, do get in touch with us on social media.